Most infectious olfactory loss is among the most frequent causes of olfactory loss. Other causes are age-related. They are related to chronic rhinosinusitis. They are related to head trauma, to neurodegenerative disease, or to infections of the upper respiratory tract. Typically, many of these patients recover during weeks or months after the infection. Actually, in the long run, about one-third of the patients, they do not show signs of recovery. The question is, what can be done in these patients with post-infectious olfactory loss? And the answer is, mm, it's limited. But what can be done is to put them on smell training. That means they should get, they are advised to use four different odors. Typically, these would be odorized oils or very strong odors that you can buy in a drugstore. You place them in your bathroom or what I mean here is a place where you walk by in the morning and evening and you sniff those odors every day, two times daily, morning and evening, 30 seconds each bottle. So focus on that and sniff those odors. And this significantly amplifies the rate of recovery, almost doubles it. And another thing that you can, and you, this should be done over a longer period, over a period of four to nine months. So it significantly helps people to recover. Other things that could be done in post-infectious olfactory loss is local topical vitamin A. So in Germany, we use cold as stop drops here. It's 10,000 units, international units, of uh, retinoic acid, vitamin A, every day uh, on both sides. So in total, 10,000 international units. This helps to people to recover. There's one study on that. There's another study showing that omega, the uh, use of systemic omega-3 could be helpful. came from Stanford last year. And other things that have been used in the past and also may still may be useful is alpha-lipoic acid. Alpha-lipoic acid in a dose of 600 milligrams daily over a period of four months. So this is where there's some proof. Some also some other possibilities are the use of acupuncture. So the use of acupuncture needles that there seems to be that it helps to um, recover odor discrimination abilities quite significantly. So what one can say is post-infectious olfactory loss is transient, typically very often. If it is not, if it stays, which can happen typically in people older than 50, it's more women where you find that overall, where it does not recover by itself, one can support that by olfactory training, by topical vitamin A, by omega-3, by alpha-lipoic acid. Most of our research has been done on olfactory training. That's it. So it, it, the, the, odd, the prospect is not bleak. One can do something. And many people recover.